what we're going to do today, we're going to try and make it as clear cut as we possibly can. Um, we're even going to make, I'm going to make an effort to slow down my speech and make sure that I say everything clear. <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything. Everything clear. We got a metronome. See, with a metronome, we could keep it within the... <laughs> you took me back to Hartley Hill there for some reason. One of the pipkins from my childhood. I mean, Vance Hill, a metronome. I don't know if you've ever seen Hartley Hill. Uh -huh. I swear to you, I've never seen a scruffiest puppet in my fucking life. But there was a cracking thing. <laughs> you need to see this. I'll be on YouTube somewhere. Um, anyways. Coming out with some sort of new toy thing, and he's. I swear to God, he's shagging it. This is a kiddie's program, and he's walking, he's going, Oh, 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 you are naughty. Oh, oh. <laughs> what, what the fuck? This is a fucking hair puppet. A scabby looking fucking hair puppet, but. And he's shagging something. <laughs> and I'm six year old. <laughs> I'll let you try and find that on YouTube for you. But anyway, that's, that's, that's another thing. We're not even going to. That's getting edited. We're not talking about fucking tickets. <laughs> No, you can take the first minute off. Right. I've got sad, but because they're just at that point where it's just becoming so laughable now. Well, and you, they've got no option but you laugh. Um, so as I say, we're, we'll try and just make it as clear as possible. Right. right. We'll get this out the road first about who to trust within this whole fucking thing. Right. And how do we know who to trust? Right? Well, my interjection there would be trust nobody. Aye, but you know what I mean. Aye. 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 Trust nobody. Yeah. But look at their content. That's it. If our content is provable, then good. Then that's yeah. what you're looking at, the yeah. message. As yeah. opposed to trusting the person. Because if you trust the person, you're putting, so you're gonna get, you're putting yeah. faith into them, so they're going to lead you. Yeah. And that's, you what, that's what none of these people talk about. You know, They want to shout shills and act Trolls like they're, like they're saviours and stuff. But right. they're, no, they're no showing people why it's their own fault. You know, and... As we spoke about before, people follow regardless, you know. Um, so, <coughs> looking at the content, um, as, as we say, you know, if it's factual and it can be proven, and that's what they stick to, then that's fine. Um, if they're employing logical fallacy, like I'm still seeing it constantly, this attacking personalities, um, it just, it's... It's fucking ludicrous. Aye. If somebody's out there attacking a personality that tells you they've got no substance to what they're actually saying themselves, Aye. so that's one person you avoid because their let's, content is shite. Let's just sort it out, right? Because it's, it's so fucking hard and it just seems like people are only fucking paying attention. Aye. Um, the question is where, the, where are we living? Right? It's a natural science question. It's got nothing to do with anything else. It's got nothing to do with religion. It's got nothing to do with any politics. There's no other discussion. Who might be behind it? Who's to blame? Fuck all that. That's part of the investigation that comes later. Um, it's, not, it's not like you're trying to stop him the fee, but it's just no important to know. You know? No. Nah. What we're trying to do is gather <coughs> information. Yeah. Information that can be proven. Yeah. You know, as we've spoken about before, like Rob Durham with his gyroscopes. Right. You know, there's stuff that can be proven. Then there's that, oh, can't even mind his name now. I think he's either, I think he's New Zealand. Or Australian doing that end anyway. I'm sure he's New Zealand. I was speaking to him a couple of days ago, and he's done the you no know, the straight across the water test. Yeah. You know, where there's no curvature. It's things like that. That's what we should be looking for. Yeah. That's the information we need. This guy's looked across five miles and seen the boat. My boat's with no curvature. I mean, Rob Durham with so gyroscopes. That's the kind of stuff that progresses. People are in this state because of emotional stuff. Mm. No, this this is never going to be solved until people are are, are using logic. The only way that we're going to get out of this mess is by applying the logical mind. You can't keep going around in circles, fucking firing uh, names in it. And it's, it's, I'm trying to say this because I don't, ha I shouldn't have to say he's at it or they're at it or whatever. If, if people are listening and they're looking at the content, then they know who's at it. You know, when you continually see these people who are arrogant that can't even communicate and all the days sit in an angry state. Um, but they're going to out this one, and they're going to out that one, and he's a shill, and she's a fucking shill, and yeah, and it just doesn't ever go anywhere. There's no strand of uh, knowledge to gain for that at all. It's like unless you've got hard empirical proof or stuff, mm. you know. But as I say, this isn't about messengers. No, this is about the message. But there's still people out there trying to shoot messengers. Yeah. Fuck that. Aye. It's a logical fallacy. You know. Aye. 
But then again, it is part of the manipulation as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, it keeps people in. If somebody, so to speak, attacks you in an angry manner or vitriolic, your first response is mirroring that. Mm -hmm. You know, the fuck are you talking to you? It's not just crazy. I mean, you you're, you're, just, you're just giving each other um, exposure and bringing them to the, the attention of people. You know, the, the way they manipulate, they're manipulating people on a mass scale. See if they don't want something in your conscious or the collective conscious, they just don't focus on it. Mm -hmm. They don't say, they don't give it an argument or even give it any attention whatsoever. They just keep it away to the side. Yeah. So it's fucking simple. And the people that are continually naming names and giving each other this attention, it's clear as fucking day what's, going, what's happening. Um, and this, that, the, the whole attitude of, of blaming um, people as I say to you earlier, it's like, <laughs> so how, how would this go down, right? Oh, the, the earth's, the, 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 the line that the earth's not a globe. How do you know that? Because he's a fucking asshole. Because he, because he had sex with him and, and, and she had sex with him and he put a dildo in her and he fucking, look, yeah. they've got handcuffs and they've got fucking this and that. Right, so where's, where's the proof for your, your claim here? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just idiotic fucking childish crap. Aye. What was the one I came out with? You know, to show you how illogical it is. Right, well, Adolf Hitler believed in a globe. Yep. So anybody that believes in a globe is siding with Adolf Hitler. Right, so this fucking... That's just I illogical. They just don't get it because they're still tied up with emotional fucking exactly. gum. And that's where they're being played with these characters who are continuously coming on camera. Yeah, fucking aggressive and yeah, they're, they're fucking at it, and they're at it, and they're at it. And all of them's creating a fucking show, a pantomime. And they're giving each other all this attention and then having each other their own shows and their figures have gone up and their figures have gone up and that's how it works. Right. But they're all just repeating the same nonsense or they're all still attacking folk. There's no, as I would call it, progression for where we've been. No. You know? These are the people that are not interested in the no. truth. Just because back. any sane, rational thinking, critical thinking people will come straight to the point that we're at. We're not anything special, we're not making any claims, we're just at a point of real truth, mm -hmm. right, where we know we're being lied to and we need full exploration or full, uh, full disclosure, and that's as far as it goes. Anything else being attached to it, it's a fucking, it's propaganda. Correct. Yeah. So propaganda, manipulation, it's all the same. Yeah. So, it's trying to just articulate that and try and make it as clear as possible. Aye. It's right. tactics Aye. at the end of the day. Right. And it's just and understand being aware of tactics and how they work. Mm -hmm. It's just as I say, that's it. Where's the logical gain in that uh, character assassinations? That doesn't take away from the truth. The truth stands up on its own anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Oh. As I used to say to folk, if somebody smiles at you, smile back. Right. If somebody's angry with you, smile back because it'll confuse the fuck out of them. Right. Eh? I've just caught down this that and other and he's smiling at me. It fucks with their heads. If you don't, if you jump into this, if you start mirroring these people, it's the proverbial <coughs> never argue with an idiot. Because yeah. they'll drag you down to their level and beat your own experience. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Simple as. So, just yes, stay at your own level, stick with what you know is fact, and lose all emotional content. And to take that to the next stage, if you look around about in the world, everything is based on emotions nowadays. Yeah. Whether, I mean, even your X factors and things like that, I mean, if you've got the best sob story, you'll make it to the final. That's it. You know, and it's, if you look at everything, all your soap operas, emotional based. Yeah, and that's it, that the majority will be swayed by emotion. Aye. And that's what I'm talking about. If you want to use tactics to sway them emotionally and bring them to truth, then, you know what I mean? Fuck it, I'm, 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 I mean, I'm open to any tactic, as I've said to you, <laughs> you know what I mean? But as you, as you say, people will just take that and then want to become the next fucking rulers, so there's always a fine line. Um, That's how, as I've said, I mean, we were talking about yesterday, is if you can understand their manipulations, try and utilise them yourself. Yeah, that's it. But you heard my version of that, is yeah. I'm not a believer in any way, shape yeah. or form of the end justifies the means. Yeah. To me, manipulation is manipulation. <laughs> All I can suggest is you just stick with what you know. People that are aware enough will get it. Yeah. And that's the ones that are meant to get it. Yeah. Anybody else, if they don't get it, then there's no point in trying to drag them. Because right. then you turn it into a religion yourself. That's it. You know, you're so, so all we can do is sit here and keep saying the, the truth and try and point out, look, I don't even need to name a name mm -hmm. or whose names or what. All I need to do is analyse the content and what they're pushing. Yeah. You know? 
And if it's stuff that cannot be proven, because the only thing that I'm interested in is science. You know, mm. that's the only thing that's going to get us out of this shit is when we start embracing it. Well, sure, I was never like, well, I try to start it off as a discussion, but as always, it turns into arguments and debates. And this one was concerning comets and the solar system and shit like that. And before I knew it, there was three of them against me, you know. And it just got ridiculous. Because I turned around at the end and what I said to them was, I was like, oh, we've got so many people in this world that seem to know so much about all the stars and all the suns and all the moons and all the galaxies and the whole universe as a whole. Yeah. Who the fuck's actually been to all the stars and moons and everywhere else? Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. So how can anybody turn around and say they know about this and know about that? And when realistically people, we know nothing. It's all this jibber jabber, all this talk. In fact, to use one of your quotes, all we know is what we are dragging for the dream fucking world that they try to yeah. create for us. That's so, all people think they yeah. know. It's amazing how many people think you're trying to shut them down and stop them from like, investigating these things. Mm -hmm. like they're no, I'm not saying they're no important, but I just can't see them giving you any strand yeah. or anything. Mm -hmm. It's like a maze. Right? And what you're actually doing is you're turning and saying to folk, listen, see if you go down that way, it's just a dead end. Because I've been there and I can prove it to you. Mm -hmm. But they'll still go down anyway. They'll still do it, that's yeah. it. But it's, the analogy is simple. If I was keeping you, every one of you captive in a, a, an enclosed area, your whole life and I was feeding you the books and giving you distractions, philosophies, culture, language, blah blah blah, and filling you with all this stuff, and then all of a sudden you realised that I was a liar, and that I had been hiding where you truly were, and that there was there was other stuff to discover, you know, you're not going to come out of that, and then still take what I fed you, the liar, what the liar fed you, you're still going to take that way into your new discoveries, no, you just ditch it instantly, and try and discover the real truth, mm -hmm. you know, and once you discover the real truth, then you can decipher and see exactly who was playing what games, yep. you know. Yep. Well, that's where I was wanting more focus on, you know, is about the manipulations Aye. and the games, yeah. what tactics they are actually using, yeah. because if people become aware of the tactics, then they should be able to you know, stop them, uh -huh. you know, stop the manipulations for themselves anyway. Right. You know, it's just, as I say, it's spotting out all their tactics so the and all their manipulations. The manipulations are coming when it's emotional based. Uh -huh. you know, when Aye. it's logical based, there isn't any, any emotion there. Correct. Because if you're using logical thought and critical thought, you can break it and do that somebody puts in front of you mm -hmm. and see the flaws within it. But when you're emotionally attached, you're just going to ignore things and have confirmation bias and get swept up and trust in the person. Uh -huh. and it just Follow becomes a whole fucking mishmash of nonsense. personalities. And then these people who have got that name by behaving that certain way, you feel as if they need to keep up that fucking act. Uh -huh. You know, some of them I think are deliberately doing it, and some of them I think are just fucking stupid. <laughs> well, they think there's something, but they're just they're just utter stupid. It's just total stupidity. It's just repetition. You know, that's why I'll, I'll just break it right down. They're just repeating what somebody else has said. Yeah. You know, and what's the point of that? Because then all you're going to get is a hundred people saying the same thing. And then what, they're going to pass that on to 10 folk each, then you're going to get a thousand people saying the same thing. There's no progression. No. You people, know? People should be learning out of this that no leaders. No. And so anybody shouting that they're trying to lead or protect or do anything, just get them to fuck because they're control freaks. They've got insecure fucking issues, right? And they're just clutching at straws for attention. And they thrive on other emotional fuckwits that are going to argue with them. Aye. That makes them, that gives them their buzz. Aye. Yes, it's like fishing, mm -hmm. you know. And you know they're playing games. Because as, as I say, and I'm not going to mention any names, I've seen another character behaving like this this morning, mm -hmm. and it's just a logical ranting about some other personality. So I says to them, I want to believe that you're genuine, so I'm going to stick my hand out, you know, fancy a chat and see if we can talk about some stuff. And the response I got was Google Hangouts. So right away, right away, there's a total disrespect and a breakdown in communication. That's to me, that's somebody that just wants to avoid you um, and be sheepish because they obviously know if they know who you are, they know that you're going to question them and, and point point out the, the the obvious flaws and what they're up to. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so my response to that was well, a bit of respect and some communication. I mean, say yeah, I'd like a chat. Here's where you can catch me at whatever time. Look forward to the chat. You know that's that's just the, the way I'm. But anyway, that was ignored. <laughs> um, so my next response to that was just look. 
you're, you're an illogical child and you're offering nothing. Um, and that's just the reality of it. And that's just the way I operate. Aye. You give people the chance. If, if somebody's behaving like that, you point it out to them. You know, and you articulate it right, mm -hmm. you're meant to be a truth seeker. Yep. And their, their, their mind's open and they're trying to think and think and you can point something out. It's the same as if we've done through the years with each other. Aye. You know, you point something and you go, aye, right, right, I get it. And then you move on and you progress because you're not holding on to any beliefs. Mm -hmm. You know, but when aye. you point this out and all you get back's, eh, fucking, a similar or response, you know that. An emotional response. Aye, aye, <laughs> one is either they're, they're, they're just <coughs> emotionally crippled and that's all they operate on and they're just stupid. Or they've got an agenda yeah. and they know exactly what they're doing and they need to stick to their script. Yeah. As I say, it doesn't matter, you know, if me and you are fucking enemies, it's like Celtic and Rangers, you know, Celtic and Rangers are not the same without the other one being there, you know, they need that, fucking, <laughs> need that rivalry. And the two of them give each other um, exposure. Aye. It's, a, it's such a fucking simple tactic. If I want attention, I get myself some enemies that, that people think are my enemies and we have a wee conflab and go, right, you attack me and I'll attack you and we'll make sure it gets everywhere so everybody's talking about us and it drives everybody to us too, you know, so we look as if we're opposing each other and really we're just gatekeeping everybody and we're in wee mm. fucking bubble. <laughs> it's as fucking simple as that. To use that analogy, I mean, I used to work for a mob in the East Coast. And I was working with this guy, and um, we're coming through George Square, you know, we're from Butler in Glasgow, we're coming through George Square, and he's behind me in his van, but he phones us and he's like, ah, see when the lights turn green, Martin? He's like, ah, don't get out of your van. He's like, how no? He's like, ah, just follow my lead. I was like, okay. So the light turns green, and he starts beating his horn and all the rest of it, you know, and I jumps out the van. What the fuck are you doing? So that was another kid knowing there was this big stramash in the Aye. middle of George Square with these two van drivers and you ought to see everybody, oh for fuck's sake, look at them. Aye. As you say, Aye. oh a big circle around about us. They didn't know we were Aye. taking the piss. Aye. You know, as far as they're concerned, oh these two guys are going to fight with each other. But no, just for the sake of it, you know. And they want to feed off the drama, the, the gullible, you know what I mean? They want to see a bit of fucking... Uh... Well, they need it. Aye. Makes them feel better about their wee bubble. You know, it's like that, you know, people like, like watching fights for their windy as long as they're not involved in it. Aye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Back to school in it. Mind the big circle around the playground. Aye. Fight, 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 fight. Mm -hmm. You've got 400 folk with two in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the two in the middle's gone like that. Look at the attention we're getting. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly it. It's just such a simple tactic mm -hmm. that people can't see through. Yeah. That's where people are being played. Mm -hmm. That's one of the ways they've been played. Aye. There's thousands of ways. Mm -hmm. so. so, stick to content and avoid personalities. But the content is just destroying the globe, you know, and pointing out, at, making sure you get every angle possibly covered and mm -hmm. understanding how the arguments work. How do you get angles on a ball? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it doesn't work in a fucking right. ball. Sit in a spherical room, go and sit in the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so content, no personalities. Yeah. One of the things I was really like to talk about is obviously the other manipulations and the main one is imagery. Imagery, yeah. You know, yeah. things to watch out for is why they play, they'll plant images in your head so that your brain will go like that, oh right, I can see that now. Yeah. But it's, it's a fallacy at the end right. of the day. Because it's the narrative. The narrative is not really important. No. It's the image that comes and that the, what, the perfect example of that is the, you've all seen it, the ISS, the water bubble thing. You know, mm -hmm. and, and, and to me that whole thing, first of all it's a, it's a created environment. It's not our, not our true representation of where, where we're actually living. Mm -hmm. So the whole the whole thing about that is is really to get this image of water and a, a globe uh, shape. Yep. And then putting a wee ink and stuff in it, and all that's to do to you is to, is to make you think, well, that's possible. That's that's the way the earth is, you yeah. know, with the oceans and stuff like that. But again, it's it's not a true representation of where we're living. So yeah. these are the, the sleight of hand tactics that they're using in their arguments. And obviously, the red herring stuff that we've pointed out before, 
referencing the sky, looking at the sky as some sort of proof for the shape of the earth that you're upon it. It's just idiotic, is it? You know what I mean? Aye. Simple as that. It call doesn't it offer you anything. Uh, I call it the crackers that I've been, I mean, the, the basic one you've all heard of before, when you want to talk about gravity, you, I mean, you've seen how a magnet works. Yeah. Right, so gravity is a magnet. No, but it's like a magnet, so uh -huh. that it gives your brain an image of something being able to pull something else towards it. Yeah. So that's where the brain will be like that, oh I can see that. Yeah. But then gravity is no like that because gravity isn't a magnet. Yeah. And there was one with that mob of so them talking to you, they talk, debating. Hmm. And they're telling me that the solar system is like a pocket watch. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to imagine that all the planets and the comets and the asteroid belt and all that are all within the pocket watch. But the pocket watch is travelling through space at 500,000 miles an hour. Yeah. Right, so I asked them do we live in a pocket watch? Yeah. Well, obviously not. Yeah. So, yet again, it's just another wee image. The same idea as these people that say the atmosphere's spinning at the same yeah. speed as the Earth yeah. so that you can't accrue for 1100 mile an hour winds and such yeah. like. I'm just trying to instill an image. An image, yeah, back to images. Because yeah, as long as you can con conceive it, mm -hmm. or perceive that in your mind and make a connection with it, you'll go, oh, well, that must be true then. I mean, what's one of the best ones that you've seen countless times? I mean, even professors have used this in university because their videos are on YouTube. Stretched lycra. <laughs> right? Stretched lycra. Yeah. And they put a ball on it. Mm -hmm. So suddenly, and they're telling us this is how space time works. Yeah. They put a ball on it, a big heavy ball, and then like a roulette wheel, they get weird balls and they spin that round about. And they say, look, see, look how the planet's orbiting. Yeah. Right, so. <laughs> the question I asked them is, I was like, so space is two dimensional and it's just a giant sheet of lycra that we're all sort of sitting in tap of. And then again, if we were sitting in tap of it, it would be two dimensional. That's it. You know, it's just yet again, it paints an image in your head. So, or your head, sorry. Mm -hmm. It paints an image in your head so your brain can actually accept that. Yep. When you actually, you can't use a two dimensional stretched piece of lycra to describe the space time continuum. Yep. <laughs> Or whatever, even any kind of space or, or gravity. That's, that's why, like in the news reports and stuff, but the, the, the imagery is the main thing. Uh -huh. And the narrative's this wee band at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know? Aye. Well, the voice is talking, but it's the image that's the most important thing. Because mm -hmm. as long as they can get the image to match, they'll know that they'll give you that perception that they want you to have. Aye. Exactly. So, watch out for yeah. images that they use. It's the same with stuff like that, like a leaf with a blob of water on it, or a branch with a blob of, blob of water on it. Aye. You know, you, you need to say to people, are you claiming that it's a leaf, the mm. earth's a leaf, are you claiming the earth's a branch with a, a drip of water on it, you know. If, if anybody tries to link something to something else, but it isn't, yeah. it, but it's like it, <laughs> you know, then you know they're fucking with your head. They're yeah. trying to create an image in your head. It's almost like equations. They've yeah. already got an end picture and it's what they can guff a full about yeah. to make you see that picture. Yeah. So beware of imagery. Because <laughs> that's how Zav says as well. Why is every picture of the solar system shown as two dimensional on a linear plane mm -hmm. so they can play with their bits of fucking lycra? Aye. Aye. Because apparently everything's made of lycra now. Well, space is. Aye. It's a big trampoline. Uh -huh. Big trampoline with pocket watches bouncing about on it. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the pocket watch. <laughs> it's magic. <Yeah. laughs> it just gets ridiculous, honestly, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely imagery. And as you were saying about the news as well, not only the image, the boom at the back of the image, just to fucking hell. Uh, no, how does the news, the uh, news start? The music. News at 10. Bong! Yeah. Death! Yeah. Bong! Destruction! Yeah. <gasps> And, and I don't know if you feel it as well, even with certain movies and such like, you could be sitting and watching a movie, but see if you were to turn the sound off, you'd probably feel completely different. It's as if the, the sound, the background music does, does start to affect. Because right. you right. associate sounds with certain emotions, and, Aye. and that's how they know how to build a picture and make it affect you in whatever way possible. Uh, well, same. Stewie for Family Guy, Aye. when he's doing his wee song. And he starts to start off in a chord, oh, he's happy, going very well, <laughs> going into an E-sharp, it's getting kind of mysterious. <laughs> you know, that's how, that's, you're telling, that's how the music does affect, as you say, association. Yeah. And obviously in the news, they're, they're trained to deliver mm. a story. So you get, you get eye contact at certain times and facial expressions when they're saying certain phrases, you know. And then I was, as I was talking to you about yesterday, you look at like how... Um, 
they, they portray this image of having wealth and money as, as meaning mm. that you're some sort of godly like figure and the, the, the thing I was looking at was like football players mm -hmm. you know a lot of these guys are thick as shit right so they can kick a ball well and they get all this money for it so, and then they go to media training classes and they're, they're taught how to address the media and stuff and you look at them and mm, yes yes and as if they're all together you know they're even the way they stand like they're cool they're calm they're collected which is portraying this image of oh well once you, you're successful at a sport and you've got hundreds of money it means you're intellectually mm. savvy and together that you're not really well even the camera angle is always below their eye level yeah, right? or the majority of the time is below yeah. their eye level to give them that impression that they're mm. bigger yeah how many times have you heard oh you seemed a lot bigger on the telly right. you know That's you're that. four foot munchkins but with the right camera angle they can look at eight foot mm -hmm. You know, it's all part of the same manipulation. Mm -hmm. And you know how propaganda works as we go back to the start again, because we need to keep fucking reiterating this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, propaganda has got no place on this question. Absolutely nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. um, the question is just where are we? And that's all we're looking to answer. Mm -hmm. So anything else that's attached to it it's, shouldn't be there. Right. I mean, as we had a wee kid on um, flat earth, globe head debate mind mm -hmm. and it just showed you how ridiculous it actually got because right. all they have is images images right yep. now but the response to that is they'll put across is if somebody says to you well there's pictures there there's videos there you turn around and say so you're accepting pictures and videos as conclusive. official conclusive, conclusive proof. proof and then they'll say yeah but that comes from official uh, sources that's that's verified and blah 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 and you go well who's deciding that mm. <laughs> you know that's that's just nonsense but the point is, is as you say are you accepting video and image as conclusive proof because if, if you so, say yes there's plenty of video right in. you're opening up a can of worms with stuff like that mm -hmm. that's that you know as i said before in the previous video images will never trump natural physics mm. ever just no wee sideline to those folk that think that Photoshop's a new thing as well because they couldn't have done that in the 70s, blah 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 with all this CGI stuff. Have a look at Stalin, you know, for the 1940s, that Russian dictator guy. And he had certain photos, and you can see these all over the internet, certain photos, but when he fell out with somebody or whatever, they were airbrushed out the photo. Yep. No, that's back in the 1940s, so don't tell me that CGI and right. Photoshop is a new thing. They wouldn't have let out any of this kind of media stuff or devices if they knew they couldn't manipulate it and control it in some way anyway. Aye. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And even at that, back when the supposed moon stuff, they didn't need to use CGI or any of that. They got a round windy and filmed it in a dark cabin. You know what I mean? It's so fucking simple. So, aye, if people are pushing, because that's all they've got, that's their strongest case. If they have imagery or video, it needs some sort of perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, as you were saying, look, aye, put me in the picture, then I can actually, aye. you know. Aye, well, I was in the picture and this. It was on this date and there's that day's newspaper with a headline you know something has to verify the image not just mm -hmm. an image of a skyline or a, a thing would be nothing to reference it with aye you know. and then the images have obviously would be checked to make sure there was no manipulation and mm -hmm. but there's there's no real images there, there just another wee sideline to show you how images can manipulate you used to watch all your nature programs and such like right there was one with david attenborough and he was talking about trees mm -hmm. right and the camera is zooming in on him and he's standing in front of this tree and he's like that, but it showed you the, the big trees previously. But see, when you're just looking at pictures of trees, you've got no point of reference. Yeah. So you're looking, and you just see trees. You don't know they're 200 foot tall, you're just seeing trees. But then it shows you him, and they're talking to him, and he's going on about these trees and this and that and the other, and he's actually standing in front of one. And then the camera starts to pan out. So your point of reference was the height of David Attenborough. Yeah. And the male this camera panned out and panned out and panned out, and he just disappeared into a tiny wee dot, and then that's when you get the full. Right, scale scope, it. the scale, yeah. how big these fucking trees were. If there's no point of reference or no verification, right. then anybody could have taken a photo at any time and it's says a, it's whatever. Right. It's the same with these ones where it's up in the Arctic or it's the Antarctic. It's just ice and fucking snow. Aye. Puts the frame around, you know what I mean? It doesn't count, video and image doesn't count, doesn't trump natural physics. Yeah. What we can all test, what we can observe and repeat. So in other words, if somebody's got a photo or a video or something, we should all be able to go and get a photo and a video of that thing. Right. And you if, you're, if you're going to accept that it's conclusive proof, as we pointed out before then, I'm claiming that fucking every character in every book and every video ever made is, mm -hmm. is, is real because, you know, there's conclusive Aye. proof. Well, you've heard me. Video. <laughs> well, I used that one, sure, my mate, and he was, 
Ah, it's true. I was like, how do you know something? It was on the news. <laughs> or, or, it was on the telly. I was like, it was on the telly. Aye, that means it's true. You and your internet stuff, no, no. If it's on the telly, it's true. <laughs> I was like, that's no bad. I was like, because I was watching the telly last night and I seen the White House get blown up by a big alien fuck off ship. I oh, but that's different. You see that? Like, but it was on the telly. because they want to pick and choose when it's to be acceptable when it's not be acceptable no 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 what images it's are acceptable other. what videos are Aye. acceptable how do you know what's what and Aye. this is the whole point of it yeah people just don't seem to grasp that would why do they need to grasp only one image mm -hmm. to debunk another <laughs> you know you don't know where these images came from Aye. but this is going to be a bit too deep into that one basically images can be faked so if one person turns around and says they're accepting images and videos then you can trump that we'll say well i've got plenty of pictures and plenty of videos people, shown it's people, flat. people should be aware of that because that is that i mean they've got people brainwashed purely on images because mm -hmm. there's nothing else absolutely for nothing. A, going for the globe at all nothing mm -hmm. not one not one fucking proof and there, there can't be you know if it was a, if it was a globe they'd be everywhere mm -hmm. so you'd think especially especially the, the first so to speak time they took a photo of the earth when they were looking back apparently going to the moon yeah. And it was all like, and look how beautiful the world we live in is, and how fragile it can be. You'd think to yourself, now if that's one of their most phenomenal pictures, it would be repeated. Mm -hmm. Continually. Yeah. Every time something left this planet, it'd be taking pictures and videos just to show everybody yeah. how beautiful this ball so, is that we all live on. Yeah. The day at once. Seriously. Yeah. And none of it's fucking real, so. Nah. Aye, aye, it's so, fucking nonsense. So where are we at? You know, is it... We know we need full disclosure, full exploration, so it's just a waiting game for us. It's like twiddling your thumbs, Aye. waiting for everybody to catch up, you know, and it's <laughs> fucking frustrating. And yet we're just trying to be a voice to try and help people to get to that point, you mm -hmm. know, but you've got all this fucking drama that's going on, everybody getting all attention, and it just really shows me the amount of players that's involved in this. Mm -hmm. And if you're genuine people and you're listening to what we're saying, try and take it on board and just look at that. Who's employing the logical fallacies? Who's continually doing this? I mean, this um, guy's in an emotional, enraged state, screaming into cameras and trying to g everybody up. I mean, what's that going to achieve? You know, all okay. I can see achieving is some un unbalanced fucking dude, a <laughs> woman, a going out and doing something crazy in the fucking street. Aye. It's not going to fucking get us anywhere. Mm. The game is it? much subtler than that, and it might just be too clever for some people. What's that? It's like Alex Jones, that's all he does, is get it in rants and raves and shouts and, shout and megaphones and all that, and I'm like that. Who's going to actually listen to that? His followers. The people who are emotionally attached to him. will listen to him. <laughs> that's it. No emotion. This, kind of this whole thing shows you who the real truthers are. Who the real the real thinkers are, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's fucking very few and far between. You know, they seem to portray themselves to be a certain way, and then it's the usual before you know it. They're behaving like fucking lunatics. It's as if something just gets to their feet. I'm not interested in people's personality. I want people to be able to do what they want, but first we need to establish where the fuck we are. Right. Before we decide any games that we're going to fucking play here, you know? What's important and what's not important. I think it's a fucking importance getting more bearings. <laughs> beliefs only important by that. No. No. They don't give you a bearings, they don't give you foundation beliefs. The bit I don't understand is why do the majority of people need something to believe in? Aye. You know, why do you need something to believe in? Aye. You know, you're just grasping fucking straws, grasping at anything. It's that analogy again, there was a state of fear and confusion. Mm -hmm. If they were kid, drugged, kidnapped, blindfolded and taken somewhere, Disorientated, they're going to be in a state of fear and confusion. Aye. You know what I mean? They want to grasp at stuff. But if they were left, and they, they shouldn't start thinking logically because they had to, mm -hmm. you know, and to start discovering where they were and they would, they would get a grounding and a foundation, you know. And that would give them a point of reference of where they're trying to go. Aye. But we don't even have that. Everybody's just fucking spinning about in the spot. <laughs> The whole thing to me is just geared to keep us all sitting still. The fucking thing that they're worried about is, is exploring. Because mm -hmm. that's our nature, that's what we should be fucking doing. Right. You know. Settling. Fuck. Aye. Plant your roots. Aye. <laughs>
Just like a tree, don't go anywhere, just blow about in the wind. Uh, be in bewilderment. I suppose that's where the term, your vegetable yeah. came from. Uh, you know what I mean? Because that's what they want people to do. Just to shh, sit there, say nothing. Yeah. And I want people to be voiced. And if these people who are, uh, and they're genuine and stuff, like you need to fucking figure it out. That your emotional fucking gobbledygook's not go going to go anywhere. No. no. Just calm down and, and start talking to people who are fucking genuine and let's sort out what the real, the real issues are. Because mm -hmm. I'm just looking at these people as contributing to the major fucking problems that's within Why? them. Why? You know, they keep employing logical fallacies all the time. Correct. It's like people pushing models. Aye. They need. No. No. So there's content. Somebody's pushing a model. You know yourself the content's shite because yep. they can't improve that model yep. in any way, shape or form. And the ones that try and argue and try and make it out that it's some sort of justifiable mm -hmm. it's a waste of energy and a waste of time their time right. and if a real truthers their time and effort should be gone to um, exposing the lie to as many people as they can and sorting out how that argument works mm -hmm. without bringing a claim forward that's that you know what i mean all the fucking the truth movement stuff that's belongs where it belongs that's a totally di different entity altogether yep the thing I mean, I said to you a while ago about the truth movement, it's as if they <coughs> have to cover everything, you know? Like, there's that website and then they've got all these videos and all that, I'm not going to name them one later, yeah. so but got all these videos. But then they send out emails, oh, well, we might be shutting this website down because people are only utilising all aspects there. Well, hang on the new, some folk might not want to look at spiritual stuff. Mm -hmm. Some folk might not want to look at flat earth stuff. Some folk might not want to look at 9-11 stuff, 7-7, whatever, blah, 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 ad infinitum. Yeah. But if you want to be part of this truth movement, you need to know all of this. Aye. You know, you ridiculous. Because no, it's just to swamp you under. I mean, Correct. you know that through experience. Yes. It, it doesn't lead you anywhere. Nope. It just swamps you. It's, it's, it keeps you in the, the, the spin, mm -hmm. thinking you're getting somewhere, and then, poof, you're back at the start again. Yeah, and by the time you catch up with these people, where they're at, because their stuff's been out for, like, decades almost, mm -hmm. and then you're sitting there and you're like that, well, well, this is stuff he was saying through the 80s and 90s, and he's still saying the same stuff. Mm -hmm. And you end up sitting there waiting, anything new to say, anything new to say. Yeah. No, I'll find somebody else then, no, they're saying the same stuff. Are they anything new to say? No. Nay real revelations, nay real you movement. Say, it's just helping people into a different field. Aye, that's it. You know, my analogy is, I've told countless people, I'm actually on a train. Every now and again, I'll get off at a platform. And I'll play with all the toys on that platform, whether it was the 911 or 77 yeah. or whatever, whatever platform it is. But then after a certain time, you, people need to make a choice. Uh -huh. You're either going to stay in that fucking platform or jump back on your train and keep moving forward. Yeah. Now I'm a fucking train man, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, nah, stay on my train as often as. So, keep moving forward. Yeah. And that's one of the, the, the suggestions I would make as well. I mean, and I always try and make it clear to people when I say, when I say flat earth and, and make sure that people understand what I mean when I say flat earth because it's tainted with so many different images and models mm -hmm. and ideas about what it might, what it means. Back to imagery again. That's back to the the, 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 the flawed logic again, and mm -hmm. it shouldn't be happening. Yeah. You know. So, and, and you see people coming to you and straight out. You know, we've spoken about it before, and they go, "Well, we'll show us the edge," because that's the preconception mm -hmm. they have of what flat means. Right. So you need to. Put the reason for that is that's not really for the people that are actually looking for truth. That's for people that are actually try to jump onto the bandwagon. Yeah. You know, and that's when they're starting to think, oh, well, there's an edge somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, show us the edge, there's no edge, fuck you. Well, that's it. You know, mm -hmm. this is what the real folk you need to start seeing through. That's their nerve form manipulations and everything else. Yep. How they're controlling. Yep. Herding everybody into a field. There you go. See, these ones believe there's a wall. These ones say it's concave. Yep. These ones, bang, 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 separation. And then there's us in the middle say we don't believe fuck all. Yeah. We just want everybody to stop believing in things. <laughs> let all the shit go and let's unite and fucking sort this crap out and find out where we are for all our sakes. Oh, logic, please. Aye. So as if fact and logic's not gonna help us oh. and it's something to be avoided. It's not fucking swear words. Yeah. Your emotions and stuff will all become balanced and sorted out once we fucking know where we are. Mm. Until then, keep them in your fucking back pocket. If you're still an emotional, illogical fucking idiot, then stay the fuck away from it. You're not going to make it any better or get us anywhere. Yeah. If you're an emotional idiot, just find a nice wee corner, line the fetal position and greet Aye. your heart out. Right. Or find some other way of getting attention. Aye. Dress up as a fairy and dance down the fucking street, that'll get you attention. Take selfies and plaster them on your fake book. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I know.
But even then, there's another how imagery is controlling people. Selfies, aye. you know, everything's image, image, image. Get past the fucking image. And people jumping on it because they can see that it's a growing trend and they're just jumping on it to, mm-hmm. to ride the wave for what they can get for themselves and fuck it, you know what I mean? Aye. Mind that wee video where these guys that just churn these never ending videos mm-hmm. out like the whole truth movement. It's just the same stuff all rehashed and Rehashed, regurgitated, re edited. Aye. Because I was saying that video with that wee guy at the outdoor concert. And he's up dancing himself. Mm-hmm. No, no, I wouldn't even say dancing, wasn't he? Sort of, but he was moving his body, throwing it about. And people are pointing and laughing and all the rest of it. Yeah. And then suddenly somebody else decides to join him. And they're doing all these wee sort of stupid daft movements and everything else. And mere folk are still pointing and laughing. And then suddenly another three arrive and there's five of them. And then within seconds, the whole fucking hill that the guy was dancing was all starting to do all these silly moves. Yeah. You know, so at first he was there himself. He'd get fucking laughed at and pointed at and ridiculed. But as soon as more people start to join in, then that's when everybody else started realising, eh, uh, hang on. But then again, with the day day, they were just jumping on the fucking bandwagon. Yeah. There was no, oh, that looks good. Because they all went with the same opinion at first. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that one. Mm-hmm. And then they're all, oh, oh, oh I'm going to get... swayed by the, the, the majority. By the numbers. Yeah. But it didn't take much for everybody else to join in. Nah. You know, when it was the one, and then the second one, that was still a bit of point and all the rest of it. As soon as three, four, five, fuck it, let's audit it. But that's what we're looking for. We need that. We need it. We need a common ground where we are the single guy, Aye. and you want everybody joining in the same dance. The same Not dance. because it's our dance that we created, because it's just yeah. because it's the truth, Aye. logical, factual, fucking hard truth. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And that's all we represent, and we want to push everything away that doesn't represent the truth. No, we need to start seeing clearly and seeing through this fucking bollocks. Stop watching their shite and getting mm-hmm. them fucking attention. If they're, doing any, if they're doing anything that we're talking about, they've not to be trusted. Yeah. And no, can't trust their about content. what excuses they give you. Right. You can't trust their content if their content is pish. Right. Logical fallacies, images, yeah. word manipulation, rehashed, yeah. re-edited bullshit from before. Yeah. Pushing models, obviously. Yeah. Things like that. As soon as you start smelling anything like that, that is, you know, energy, there's the off aye, button. Wasting energy and time on the sun, the moon, the stars, all that fucking crap because we can't get to them. I have to dump that one. Was it? I don't know. Maybe it'd still be going, would you know? Aye. That's just means. Aye. <laughs> um. So. Aye, as he said, don't give these people time. I mean, you really tell as well, because when they start getting all these thousands of vote, uh, views and things like that, I'm mm. always fun that kind of dubious Aye, at times. Aye, and subscriptions is getting up and I'm mm. going, they're bringing nothing to the table. Mm-hmm. So that just shows you that their wee fucking routine is working wonders, because theirs is going up and theirs is going up. Aye, as if it's all doing the, the view counts. The attacker or the other view counts are going up Aye. because they're playing out the fucking drama. Yep. Because remember as well, numbers mean fuck all. Because 99% of the people on this plane or whatever you want to call it, planet to some, yeah. believe that we live in a bar. Uh-huh. No, it's never been proven. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't fit with their science in any way, shape or form, so no. it's a lie. But 99% of people believe it. Mm-hmm. Doesn't he make it true? Right. So we need to understand their science and then teach them their, their science, science and play them at their own game with their own tools and show them up and show the globe up for what it is. And that's what we do. That's what mm-hmm. we've always been doing. And that's what the truthers should be doing. Yep. Stick to facts. And no matter what kind of gish gallop they come back with, just stick to your facts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why is the water always flat? Ah, but it's geometric vectors and you don't understand. <laughs> Why is the water flat? <laughs> well, it's not actually, just because of the perspective. Think of an ant on a basketball. <laughs> Why is the water flat? <laughs> That's all you keep doing, just stick to the facts. What why do we live in a pressurised? Why, why, why we get pressure in about us if we're no enclosed? Yeah. Uh, it's because of gravity pulling all the air down. It's such a strong force that it can hold it beside a vacuum. But it's not actually beside it, it's just a very gradual <laughs> decreasement of <laughs> air molecules the further higher up you get. <laughs> why do we have pressure if we're not in an enclosed system? Is your response, no matter what kind of fucking exactly. nonsense they come out with. Because that's what we test Boom. and we observe all Aye. the time, you know. Water does not conform to the exterior of shapes. You can't have slopes without the water flowing. Mm-hmm. These are facts of life and it's how you word it and you present it to them. Aye. And it doesn't matter if you go abba, 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 abba. You go, 
that's the facts that we know. You need to show us. You know, show me a wee stone covered in water, spinning round. Do that wee experiment. Yeah. Uh, we can even No, in the there. ISS or whatever it is, out there, in the air, where we are. Uh, but you know yourself that wouldn't actually happen because we already have our own gravitational <laughs> field which will affect the results. <laughs> Just sounds like fucking excuses to me, do you know what that sounds mm. like? That's that term I created myself for the god of the gaps and it's gravity of the gaps. Gravity of the gaps. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. These, these, the, all the, these last, whatever, uh, decades of them trying to ridicule the religions and say we need to use science, we need to use science and then you see them in their debates and they go oh that's just a god of the gaps argument because when it's something you can't explain you're invoking god. an invisible mystical it's god it's god's will and it's god's will yep so it's the, part of god's the, plan in the globe people do the exact same thing mm -hmm. you just don't understand it's gravity yep can you show me it can you test it can you observe it can you recreate it can you repeat it can, can i repeat it no well yes you can because if you drop an apple it will fall <laughs> It's because the air isn't solid enough to support the apple. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> too simple. I know. Well, here's the thing. How come all the fog's doing so far? But we're stopping water. I know. But anyway, water that was. Aye. But that's what I'm saying. This is the kind of stupidness that they're going to come out with. And the more you play with it, you'll realise how ludicrous it actually starts to sound. Yeah. Stick to the facts. Why is the water flat? <laughs> Gravity. Well, gravity's making it flat? No, gravity's making it round. No, 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 no. Why's the water flat? <laughs> what, you're saying water's no flat? Water, water is round. Water can conform to the exterior of shapes. You're well, saying it's it spinning. Be, well, it's spinning. Aye, well, aye, aye. That's, a centrifugal well, that is where you live. Can you recreate it? No. <laughs> well, we can't recreate it because it's affected by where we live. <laughs> okay. Right. You wonder it's a bot. It's circular reasoning. I've got this great new engine that uh, works um, on free energy and Ooh. there's not even any moving parts and it's, 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 it's kind of invisible. Oh, cool. Aye, aye. You want to fund me? Aye. Hey. You want to fund me for it? Aye, aye, what you need? I'll sell a couple of my unicorns. Aye. <laughs> 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 I can't really create it and show you it or anything like that because... Uh -huh. uh, where we are is affecting, you know, right, the like crap, back fucking see crap. Right. I see, but I'm, see even trying to find analogies for it, it's that fucking retarded, it's unbelievable. Mm. You wouldn't get anywhere making any claims with anybody if you can't reproduce it mm. and, and empirically prove your claims. Snake oil. So why would we accept it in anything else? I mean, we don't need to keep saying this because... I know. Oh, yeah. It's mere about trying to understand the tactics that's going on. Aye. And this whole fucking debate about who's real and genuine in the truth movement and no. or, or in the flat earth movement. It makes no fuck fucking difference who's real, who's genuine, who's fake and no. whatever. Content. Yeah. Nothing but content. Yeah. That's how you look at content. Of our mind messengers. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows any other manipulations, because believe me, the devil is in the detail with these things. It's fucking... I mean, we've all been painted pictures of fucking boys all our days yeah. so our brain is obviously going to oh all right we're living a lot yeah. you know it's getting past that taking yourself down and saying why do i believe in that yeah. what proof do i have mm -hmm. to have a belief system mm -hmm. why do we need to believe in anything because your imagination and your, your perceptions are manipulated because this was talked about with the image mm -hmm. they know that you'll use your imagination and you'll try and grasp to, to place things and make a picture of them mm -hmm. and if you can perceive them Align with a narrative, then that's all the better. Yeah. yeah. Following stories with pictures. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um. Anything else important to add to that? I mean, nah. It's just it's, it's, it's not really as rehashed as what we've done before. I mean, it's, as I say, it's getting to the point of realising the manipulations. Mm -hmm. As I've always said, if people understood what Derek Brown actually done, then it wouldn't have any effect on them yeah. because they'd be aware of the tools Aye. that he uses. Yeah, well, it's only subliminal when it's below your threshold, which means Aye. you're not aware of it. Uh -huh. But once you become aware of it, then it can't affect you. So, as long as you stay aware of it. <laughs> and that's it. I mean, that one, way. Another wee manipulation in your Radio Times this week. Is it Radio Times, wasn't it? Radio Times, it's coming out the 2nd of July. 2nd of July, you've got Brian Cox on the front. <laughs> Never more an apt name for a guy. <laughs> Standing Cox. in front of a big giant earth, should we call it, a big ball thing. Globe. 
globe. And the question that's right across it, why is the earth round? Right? Or why the earth is round. Oh, sorry, why the earth is round. Yeah. Now, the way that's worded is a manipulation, because the first thing that your brain's going to do is jump on to the, all right, we already know the earth is round, now they're telling us why. Yeah. Whereupon the, the question people should be asking, is the earth round? Mm. Not, this is why the earth is round, or yeah. whatever it was, yeah. across, but that's just another wordage manipulation. Yeah. They manipulate us through language. They manipulate us through visuals, imagery, you know, they manipulate us in any way, shape or form possible, it's mm -hmm. getting to the point of being aware of these manipulations and stopping them, mm -hmm. and just saying, oh, right, I see how that works, now you think by attacking my intellect I'm going to crumble right. a fucking baby, just, so, no, Disney Matt, so it doesn't matter when you put a Flat Earthers video on, and they've got this music and the drama, mm. and then they've got all this imagery and your stuff, I don't, none of that affects me and sways me. Yep. I'm just looking at the content of what they're showing me and I look at what's factual, what's provable, is it going to progress us anywhere, are we going to get anywhere? I'm not swayed by their music or whatever, I'm aware that that's what's going on, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, but you need to be able to see through that and just look, tear it apart and look at what it is they're actually trying to tell you. Now the other aspect of that is there's obviously manipulations out there that we're probably not even aware of yet, yep. you know? I mean, we could go through the frequency though, there's that yep. many frequencies pummeling about, we don't know what they're doing to us, but we can't see them. There's all lots of stuff outside your spectrum, but that's for a separate video in itself. Yeah. So everything that you think you're seeing, there's stuff out with, which they might be aware of, which they can utilise to manipulate yeah. us. It's just getting to the point of awareness to say, hang on, am I being manipulated? Can I back this up? Can this be proven? Yeah. You know? Always take it back to the core of facts. Yeah. If you don't, you're just going to get led down a wee fucking yellow brick road. That's it. That's it, eh? Well, we usually say that, and then as soon as we switch the camera off, he starts doing something else. <laughs> yeah. but you know we'll just leave it running. If anything else comes out, it comes out. If no, we can just edit it at that, you know what I mean? It's six and a half. See the joys of technology? Uh, Technology's brilliant, isn't it? So, what do you think is going on? I mean, I was, I was looking at that with that Brian Cox thing, and to me, you, you know where I'm coming from, I, I just think that they're releasing this anyway. Uh -huh. So to me that's another phase of the release. Because, you know, if, as I we were talking about earlier on the propaganda, and this whole thing about the two sides getting each other attention. Mm -hmm. Well, I know, I can be, I can get into that mindset of controlling and ruling and manipulating, right? So, if I don't want people discussing or talking about anything that's going to threaten my control over them, I'm not even going to give you any media attention. There's never, it's, it's not going to be on the front of the Radio Times, Brian Cox, why the earth is round and even mentioning stuff like that. But the fact of the matter is, is that flat earth and this question circulating around everybody and by this coming up into the, the mainstream again, mm -hmm. it's just another thing because pe people are already hearing about it and they're going to look at it and go, well, I'm going to look into this and it's going to start the ball rolling. Aye. Because it's, uh, it's, you know, if people are looking at it as that, oh, they're, they're still trying to say Aye, it's the proverbial. Hang on, the if we all knew the fucking earth was round and all the rest, why, why is there so much and flux in it? And we know it's a lie, that's what I'm saying. We know the globe's a lie, so you're looking at the tactics they would use. Aye. They, they wouldn't they would get any attention whatsoever. No. We know there's things happening in the world that we, we think we should be, that should be making news, but it doesn't get any coverage. Mm -hmm. So people just, it's not even in their consciousness, they just well, forget about it. See, we just as you're saying that, they're thinking 9 11, right? Yeah. Look how many programs have been on to show you and the imagery of what actually happened. You know, we all the girders fawn doing and going all wobbly and all the fireproofing fawn off. You know, giving you all the images mm -hmm. constantly. Yeah. Right? Obviously, we know why. Yeah. But, but people should be asking the question, why? Yeah. Because that theoretically should make folk hang, hang on the roof. I'm going to have a look at this. Aye. But by Aye. people having a look at it, it is by switching on the telly and watching the programme oh, to tell you about how they build that's themselves. It. But that's just one example anyway. Yeah. So, it's it's just this level of manipulation that's going on mate, it's mm -hmm. fucking non-stop. Manipulation and control of people's lives. Aye. It's fucking ridiculous. And if this does get to a point of getting mainstream, this is what I'm saying about, I only want to see people representing the truth. Aye. Because it's important to me, it's really important to mm. me, and obviously it's important to you, you know, for, and we want Truth's it Truth's always been important I, to me, no we want what? it for the right reasons. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I don't want this flat earth getting talked about and people coming online and, oh, they see these illogical fucking fruitcakes. 
ranting and raving and talking about hypothetical crap and mm. just just diluting the whole thing to a point where nobody really knows what it's about. I love the hypothetical conversations that I've got barriers you're not allowed to go with. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> you know when they're talking about? Yeah. You know the people just like, let's speak hypothetically. You know we have no barriers at all, yeah, just going it. fucking one extreme to the other. Oh, but I mean, come on to fuck, keep it real. <laughs> keep a hypothetical situation real. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you see that with a lot of time as well. You know I mean? Because Let's what they're is because they've got their wee image, they want you to have the same wee image. Right. In I'll never have the same image that somebody else has in their head because right. I'm no inside their head. That's it. How the fuck am I going to have the same image? I was saying about the back to the Glovers and stuff, you know. Hmm. Let's imagine. Aye. Let's imagine this and. <laughs> well, that guy would be always big science thing response. The words I was loving were unfair, yeah. probably, yeah. it's stated. Yeah. <laughs> so many logical fallacies oh. within one paragraph. <laughs> when you look at their arguments, the, the <coughs> argument, it's just fucking ridiculous. Aye. Yeah. I'm enjoying that one. Well, it all started because somebody asked why a comet didn't get dragged into the sun. Aye. And this one guy, he started it with saying, because it has tangential velocity. <laughs> and not because it's moving. Yeah. Cause it's moving yet yeah, it should be moving into the fucking sun and they cut the long story short about how it only passes so close but then fucks off out to the edge of the solar system pluto bound before the gravity manages to pull it back in again <laughs> but it was my son that turned around and says to his agent and says it's not just that if it's traveling three billion miles as such for pluto to the sun yeah. and gravity apparently comes from the center of an object yeah then it's got three billion miles to get it right on target to hit the center of the fucking sun but it manages to miss every fucking 75 <laughs> 76 years it manages to oh we'll just go in the back here and come back again the fact that this gravitational pull for three billion fucking miles away doesn't manage to hit the center i mean the sun's quite big and the size of harley's comet is only 15 kilometers mate you know 15 kilometers by eight kilometers by eight kilometers and it's peanut shape how long has this been going Oh, well, apparently 16, they're, they're unsure, but it's apparently between 16,000 and 200,000 years. How big was it? I mean, when's it going to, as you say? See, this is the question that they'll never come back to me and answer. Because that was one of the ones I, th I keep on putting it back in every comment. You keep missing this point. Here's another part you missed. Yeah. You know, what size was it when it fucking started? <laughs> and when's it going to disintegrate to nothing? Yeah. Because it's, they tell you, it's tail. It's a big dirty snowball, allegedly. And its tail is the dust particles and materials that are being affected by the sun just getting ripped off yeah. as it passes through so if it there's material leaving unless when it hits it towards pluto way there's a wee service station <laughs> where it fills back up again <laughs> before it's trajectory <laughs> done towards the side of the sun <laughs> and if you see shit like that you're like oh, holy fuck how ludicrous do you need to be but they told you before that everything was a gas that formed into these solid oh, things sorry to interject apart, just, but... <laughs> just when you say that there this guy, he came back to me and I was, because obviously I turned around and said, oh, the comet's been gone for the Big Bang, you know, four billion or however many billion years ago that happened. And he turned around and says, don't be a retard, because everybody knows oxygen wasn't formed at the Big Bang. <laughs> and you need oxygen for water, and therefore without the water, you wouldn't have the big dirty snowballs called comets. And I'm like, well, hang on, I thought I was told when we had nothing, the Big Bang, had, we had nothing, which had to exist somewhere yeah. to be nothing, yeah. exploded into everything. Apart from oxygen, <laughs> so where the fuck did oxygen come from? And you've heard me talking about that with evolution as well. You yeah. know what I mean? If you've got a male wolf and a female wolf continually mating, how the fuck do we get a chihuahua? Aye. If dogs came from wolves, Aye. I don't get that. You know. Yeah. And then again, you can look at the fifth generation science. Maybe done it with fruit flies and all that. They started genetically fucking them up, but after fifth, the fifth generation they get back to what was classed as a normal fruit fly. Yeah. So how come if you breed dogs five times you don't have wolves? Yeah. I'm just playing with their fucking that's fallacies but there you know, that's the way I talk. Another route, I know. I know another route with their evolution nonsense. Well, that's just, it's just so fucking idiotic it's not even worth talking about. I know. Mere pseudoscience and fucking religious nonsense. 15 billion years ago and 4 billion years ago and oh this wee thing used to look like that and fucking it turned into a monkey squirrel fish. Talking about social justice warriors looking for diversity, how much more diversity do you need? Because apparently everything on this fucking born space 
came from primordial soup, as you call it, single-celled creatures from nothingness. Yeah. So, if we were all single-celled creatures, look at the diversity we've got now. Mm-hmm. That's just for the social justice model, not long for diversity. <laughs> we've got fucking hunters here. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing about evolution as well. You know, we, how we, we evolved from, well, from single-celled creatures into fishes as such, mm-hmm. you know. But then we decided we didn't want to be in the water anymore. Mm-hmm. So we grew up and evolved even more and became, through the mammalians, down to human beings. But then other mammals decided, fuck this, I'm going back to the water. <laughs> Mr. Dolphin and Mr. Whale, right. obviously. How the fuck did that happen? Right. You know, they've spent all their time evolving to remove gills. But then they jump back in the water, really need to breathe air. That's just all fucking... It's ridiculous, ridiculous. I know. That's what, that's what I love about... That's what we're talking about when you talk about these comets where the tail and everything breaks apart in space and it's only got a certain life. You go, but it all formed in space. <laughs> so what went on? I thought it came from the Oort cloud. Gases compressed and formed right. fucking solid rocks, and then but some of them start breaking away and becoming tails, but other ones like yours, doesn't it? It stays the same. Shit, that's clever. That's all right. Right, then. Hiya, babe. Alright, I'm not in the house, I'll phone her just now. Right, okay, right, bye. Bye, love you, bye. Sorry about that. I thought that was in silent. Yeah, I thought it was on silent. But um, aye, it's just, it's all as we talk about, all these things that are no provable. Nobody can t- take me to 14 billion, there's nothing that you can, it's just all fucking jobby. Mm-hmm. You can't be bothered with it. I know, but I love playing with it, mate. Aye, of course, and obviously we have done. Plentiful. With my usual response. Of course I believe in evolution, last week I was a giraffe. <laughs> Knew you have been ridiculous. I'm being ridiculous? <laughs> you came for primordial soup, mate, yeah. and I'm being ridiculous. <laughs> you believe in things that we can't even observe. Uh, you know, you slag them for believing in a god that they can't observe or I, test or recreate, but yet you believe in this fl- flying sphere pair that was created by nothing and magicalness that all fucking evolved. Like clockwork as well. We need proof. Mm-hmm. We've got circumstantial evidence that leads us to believe, and it's it's actually a what do they call it a an educated fucking mm. whatever educated guess. Aye. <laughs> oh look, that that dog was born with a with no tail. Therefore, it used to be a fucking badger. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> the evolution as well. We, aye, apparently people descended from apes because they know ascend, but that's a different scenario. Aye. And here's the other one who forgot to tell the rest of the fucking apes? <laughs> Why do we still have apes? It's just comedy crap. Aye, I love it. I love it, mate. <laughs> just part of the whole keeping you still thing. Feeling uh, insignificant. An and insignificance. Yeah. You feeling small and insignificant again? Nope. It's the, it's the scared days waiting up. You know what I mean? I just feel I'm starting to feel as if this is just a big fucking joke. Is. As if it's just been a big practical fucking joke. Yeah, but see, you're racing that on the dream world. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what a joke really is? I know, it's <laughs> so it says we, everybody's got this finite idea about where we are, not these ideas for finite thought. Mm-hmm. You no, know, if you think about eternity, you know, and this just being a fucking joke. Mm-hmm. It's really no, it's really not that significant, but obviously we're in a state where it is fucking significant because we're all like fucking enough's enough now. The jokes Aye. went too far, you know. It's time for us to get grounded and fucking find out what the fuck's going on. Hell yeah. And how do we know it's time? Because people like me are fucking asking. <laughs> Talk about that film, the irrational man. There were certain parts of it that I did appreciate and connect with. When he was going on and talking to their sound, he's like, listen, don't listen to what other folk have got to say mm-hmm. or anything. Aye. Just go by your gut. Aye. He's like, your gut will tell you. Aye. You know, and I've always operated from my gut. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be on YouTube. I want everybody to be balanced. Mm. And, and uh, so I don't need to think about all this fucking stuff <laughs> anymore. And people are just balanced. Do you know what I mean? And Aye. Well, we're, we're, definitely we're, score. we're living in an un- unbalanced place, Aye. mate. Because people like us are having to question and go, no. This isn't right. Why would we continually, you know, it baffles me that generation after generation puts their kids through 
brainwashing at school, a miserable existence where you go every day and you're going, this is fucking crap and have off no conditioning because you operate under the bell, mm-hmm. everything runs by the bell. Aye. You know, and you can see it clearly and you, you go, why do people continually do things that they don't enjoy? Mm-hmm. Why, are we, why are we accepting this fucking crap? Mm-hmm. There's absolutely no reason why we're accepting it. We're no, accepting it because the minority are manipulating us. Just to give you a different version, I mean, talking about how people have just accepted the crap. When I was in through school, we had a careers officer, right? And the only thing that I ever took out of that class in any way, shape or form at that time was job satisfaction, right? Yeah. So that's where my mentality went, job satisfaction. So far, I go and do a job, I need to be happy with it. You know, I need to be satisfied yeah. that I've done a great job. And that's the only thing that I ever took for that. But nowadays, see, you knew yourself what I was like at work. A boss gave me any shit, I'd be like, here, my fucking job's getting done, shut the fuck up, and that's your final warning. Mm-hmm. And if they give me any more shit, tell you what, see you, fuck well, off. That was the same, just fucking not take any shit. No, you take your shit. As soon as somebody disrespects or crosses that line, I just fucking right. that's that, man. But now, people are being educated and taught how to deal with the stress of an unsatisfying job. Right. You shouldn't have to, as no, you were saying there, you shouldn't have to fucking deal with Stockholm it. That's Stockholm Syndrome to a whole new fucking wow. level, you yep. know what I mean? And they just to blame people, we can see the title of this one. And just to make a point, I'm not even going to know that we can mention it, but at the end of the video, mm. I'm going to I'm going to make the title some sort of drama. Or, you know what I mean? Mm. Just to show, to see if there's an increase in the views that well, it gets. Think of the old advertising it, scenarios. No, big capital letters at the top. Sex! Aye. Now that I've got your attention. Ah, that's it. <laughs> that's, right, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Sex, drama, or, or something in the headlines. And you're going to get to the end yet to realise that there was no big reveal. All the reveal is, is to show you how fucking stupid you are. And that's exactly what you need to stop doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jumping onto word dissociation. Aye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Flat off <laughs> sex tape. <laughs> click, click, click. We see Aye. how many views that would get. Yeah. The drama and the big reveal is, is there's a topless photo of me out there somewhere. <laughs> 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 Marty's face is in the public domain somewhere. Oh, God. <laughs> no. no drama, no big reveal. That's the whole point. It's how easy it is. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it'd be even better. It'd be even better if you were a, a hot chick, man. Mm-hmm. See if you were a hot chick, but a fucking clavage. Oh yes. You know what I mean? But a leg, mm-hmm. smile. You know the. And I've watched watch it. Why? No, oh, Hicks pointed it years ago. Just the woman, and they might not even be talking much sense or saying anything really important mm-hmm. or whatever. You know, but boom. They get this attention because people are just so fucking gullible and easily played. It's like boringly obvious. Oh, I know. Well, they put that into the full extent. Look at the amount of crap music that's bought because it's somebody that's sexy and mm-hmm. selling it. Right. You know? Would you ever look at Christina Aguilera? Yeah. Well, you'd look at her, but would you, if you didn't know who she was or anything, somebody played her music, would you be like that? Oh, that's great. Right. No? <laughs> you'd be like, what the fuck is that? Same with your Shakira. God, how she moves her hips is phenomenal. <laughs> She'll be listening to the music, you. Aye, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> was it Bill Hicks says about the old chewing gum advert? He had, I had to admit, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about chewing gum. Uh-huh. <laughs> In Britain, it was the, the flake advert. Yeah. Only the crumbliest. <laughs> <laughs> Spermiest chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what time are we on a